Good evening ladies and gentlemen this is Dr Paul thank you very much This evening I want to talk a few minutes about transient ischemic attacks TIAs every year millions of people especially here in the United States of America we have been seeing a constant increase in this disease transient ischemic attacks it's defined as rapid onset of neurological symptoms lasting typically less than 60 minutes and rarely up to 24 hours so patient usually comes with uh, a uh, weakness one sided weakness headache blurry vision and uh, sometimes even pain in various parts of the body and these symptoms they typically last less than 60 minutes and they completely recover within 24 hours that is the definition of transient ischemic attacks the neurologic deficits occur suddenly and persist from minutes to hours but resolve completely within 24 hours so many studies have been done to understand transient ischemic attack in fact from up to 11 to 12% of patients will have a stroke within 7 days of TIA in fact the 90 day stroke risk is high when a TIA results from internal carotid artery disease and the 90 day risk of stroke after a TIA has been estimated to be approximately 10% you see if a patient has TIA today he has a risk of like 10% to have a stroke in the next 90 days in fact up to 50% of strokes occur just after 2 days of the TIA so up to 54% of strokes happen just within 2 days after a TIA so this is a problem that should be given serious attention a TIA should therefore be promptly evaluated and uh, patient should be started on some therapy to decrease the risk of stroke now transient monoocular blindness when there is an embolus in the retinal artery we call it amaurosis fugax amaurosis fugax it signifies ipsilateral carotid artery disease but it is associated with less risk for subsequent carotid stroke now let us uh, talk a few minutes about the treatment of TIA TIA in appropriate patients thrombolytic therapy can be given up to 3 hours after the onset of stroke symptoms now treatment is directed at underlying conditions like uh, if the patient has hypertension treat it the patient has any indications for carotid endarterectomy just call the surgeon to do it and uh, antiplatelet agents are the treatment of choice for the prevention of future strokes in patients who have experienced a TIA now the best and most economical and frequently chosen antiplatelet agent is aspirin aspirin can be used in doses of 75 to 1300 mg per day for the prevention of stroke now the other medication um, i want to mention is diclofenac diclofenac it uh, acts by preventing platelet aggregation induced by adenosine diphosphate but its use is limited because it has so many side effects the clopidogrel that is plavix is an alternative therapy in patients who do not tolerate aspirin it acts by inhibiting platelet aggregation by adenosine diphosphate and it is a, it has a very good safety profile and the recommended dosage is 75 mg per day now finally when patients have conditions like atrial fibrillation which can send emboli into brain and cause strokes we should put these patients on anticoagulation with warfarin therapy so oral anticoagulation with warfarin continues to be the therapy of choice for stroke prevention in atrial fibrillation and also patients with 
prosthetic valves, in dilated cardiomyopathy, in mechanical valves, in a rheumatic mitral valve stenosis, and also in a recent my myocardial infarction. In all these conditions, we have warfarin for oral anticoagulation. And if oral anticoagulation is contraindicated, we should at least start the patients on aspirin. And the recommended recommendations for target INR is between 2 and 3 in most cases. And also surgical interventions for TIA. The most commonly done intervention is carotid endarterectomy. This intervention is used to remove atherosclerotic plaque from a carotid artery when the vessel is blocked. It has proven, proved beneficial in preventing future strokes in certain patients with minor strokes or TIS. So this procedure is indicated when the vessel has a 70 to 99 percent of blockage. When the vessel is, uh, ha is a 50 to 69 percent block, carotid endarterectomy is recommended. And the vessel is less than 50 percent stenosis, we usually recommend just medical treatment. So most patients with TIA can be discharged on these measures. That's about tangent ischemic attacks. Your comments are welcome. Thank you very much. God bless you.